everybody just a quick update before I start this thing up I have zeroed out the meter uh, well it's pretty damn close to being zeroed out that's close enough and get the power leads coming off and I made them long enough to where I can get this thing out the door you know good little ways got everything all hooked up ready to go uh, just some shitty wire for temporary for now <laughs> it's 12 gauge but that should be enough just for testing purposes I want to eventually use you know, at least 10 gauge but anyway all I gotta do is take that wire and you know stab it in there and flip that switch and that thing will be on and you know dial in the engine and first I'm gonna fire it up and make sure it's going in the right direction and then I'm gonna fire it up with the spark plug off and the fuel all the way leaned out and the vaporizer tank empty and uh, just run it to where the engine is a load and then count how many times this turns per minute and then uh, cause that's a two horsepower motor that'll more I should never have to use the electric or the pull start on this it's the electric start now flip the switch and it should start or at least turn over so that's my theory you know figure out how much that motor draws just running this motor count how many turns it is and then you know fire that thing off with the motor running you know gradually bring it up bring it up till it zeroes out and then uh, when it zeroes out I'm gonna make the engine that'll kinda be where my idles at like I'll make it idle to where that meter doesn't move that way when I start it up it'll be a nice smooth start up and then once it's running it won't be under load then I'll come up and I'll have this suggested and with a mark on it to where I know how far to pull it out or whatever and see if I can't turn that bad boy backwards and count how many times it does it a minute and then you know keep track of the kilowatt hours I'm making because theoretically if this is turning backwards I should go backwards so the next numbers I should she see should not be a one it should be a bunch of nines <laughs> Well, I'm hoping if that's the case, that means I can accurately keep track of what I'm making on this thing. Uh, another thing I thought about doing is moving that meter right there before that box and then running a four wire 220 instead of a two wire or three wire 220 like I got now. I want a neutral center tap out here because right now I just got you know two hots in the ground and I want two hots of ground and a neutral that way I could have a center tap that way I can run you know split it in half have one ten on this side and then one ten on that side and I'd still have my 220 out here for my welders and maybe a bigger air compressor and things like that but I gotta rewire this place and I'm gonna have to end up buying some stuff and do it right but this garage is kind of just a test anyway I don't know how long it was going to last being that there's not a whole lot really to it if you really look at it there's a few, few boards missing here there and yonder <laughs> but we did the roof really good I guess that's about the only thing and then that thing that helps but yeah I, w I want a better garage but this is good enough for now uh, anyway figured I'd just make a quick update video for you it's like three o'clock in the freaking morning I've been up all night working on this thing trying to finish it up and finally got it now and for those of you who's wondering what that is it's a vacuum gauge that's probably not quite accurate but I just need something for a reference point because eventually I might put a valve on that and uh put that under a vacuum to help it vaporize and if I do that I'm going to want to kind of figure out where to set it at and that'll help maybe but it looks cool on there <laughs> anyway you all have a good one I will see you soon and I will record the first thing I fire this bad boy up and probably 
try to use two cameras when I do it or something that way I can have one camera just zoomed in right in on this and uh, that way you can see it you know pulling power and then see it stop and see it start making power that way you know it's working but anyway don't know if you can hear that or not but my my cat really wants out here she hears me talking Kitty, kitty. <laughs> Freaking spoiled animals. Oh, and I gotta, uh, soon, you know, I gotta make a little bit of money first, but I found a twin cylinder Kubota diesel generator with a good engine on it, new starter, new alternator, and I got a motorcycle in the back of my truck with a four cylinder on it, 1000 cc. So, you can look forward to that sometime soon. See you soon. Take her easy.